Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're looking at plotting straight line graphs. So let me show you some examples. It says on the grid plot the following graphs uh, of the following equations. x equals 3, y equals minus 1, y equals x, y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals minus x plus 3. The first two are really easy because it's uh, x equals a number or y equals a number. So let's start with x equals 3. And this is a line of all the x-coordinates where x is equal to 3. This is the x-axis and x is equal to 3 here. So we can plot one point here. Another point where x is equal to 3 is here. And this point and these points. And all of these points here have the x-coordinate of 3. So we can connect those up with a straight line. And so every point on that straight line, x is equal to 3. Similarly, we can do the same for y equals minus 1. Let's look for all the y coordinates that are minus 1. Well, let's start at y equals minus 1 here. And another point over here, this is also a y coordinate of minus 1. And here, and here, and here. And if you connect those up, we get all the points on this red line have the y coordinate of minus 1. It doesn't really matter the x coordinate because we, for this line, it just tells us what the y coordinate it always is. Now for the rest of the equations, we're going to use a table of values. The table of values looks like this down here. We've got the x's and the y values. For y equals x, uh, that's really simple. All the y coordinates are the exact same as the x coordinates because the y is equal to the x. y equals x. And so if x is minus 1, then y is minus 1. If x is 0, then y is 0. 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3. The y coordinates equal the x coordinates. And that means that the coordinates pairs will be minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2 and 3, 3, like this. And we can plot those coordinates on the grid like this. Uh, and we can put some x's in place like this. And if we connect them up, we get this straight line here which is the line y equals x. So every y coordinate on that line is the same as the x coordinate y equals x. That's a nice special equation there. It does come up uh, in some other topics. Now y equals 2x minus 1. This is a little bit more complicated now and we're going to have to uh, do a little bit of algebra. So we take the x coordinates and we substitute them into the uh, equation for y and we'll get the y coordinates. So the first x coordinate is minus 1, we substitute that in, like this. 2 times minus 1, minus 1. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, minus 1 is minus 3. So the y coordinate is minus 3, and that goes over here. Next one is 0. So 2 times 0 minus 1 gives us minus 1. Uh, 2 times 1 uh, minus 1 will give us plus 1. Uh, and you should be able to see a pattern here, what's it going up in. Uh, so the next one is 2 times 2 minus 1, which will give us 3. And I think you can guess what the next one will be. It will be 2 times 3 minus 1, which is 5. And you should notice that it's going up in 2s every time. And that is because of the 2 here. We write those as coordinate pairs down here. Minus 1, minus 3, 0, minus 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 5. So you've got the coordinate pairs there. And we can uh, plot them on the graph like this. Minus 1, minus 3, 0, minus 1, 1, 1, 2, 3. So uh, minus 1 across, minus 3 down will go here. 0 across, minus 1 down, uh, 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay. And we can connect them up like that. Final equation is y equals minus x plus 3. So we substitute the x's in again, and we get this. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1, minus 3 plus 3 is 0. And so we get these coordinate pairs, and again, just as before, we plot them on the graph like this. And every single time you should see they line up in a perfect straight line. And then you get your ruler and your pencil and you draw a straight line through them. Okay. 
that those are the equations we plotted today. Um, if you didn't understand any of those examples, just re-watch the video one more time, rewind the video and watch it one more time, and you should be able to see exactly what I'm doing for each of those steps. Okay, now I've got some practice questions for you to try here. Uh, you should do this on graph paper. If you haven't got graph paper, I will link graph paper in the description so you can print it out. Or, uh, if you don't have a printer, uh, draw some uh, graph paper on some uh, paper carefully with a ruler. When you're drawing these, use a table of values for the bottom three equations. Uh, and use a ruler, plot each coordinate, um, and you should really be going from like minus one to three. That should be a, re uh, a reasonable number of x values to substitute, substitute into your um, x's to get your y table of values. Okay, so pause the video now. It should take you about five minutes to do these. And when you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Okay, did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We have plenty more videos uh, covering all of GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths, uh, so make sure you check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.